YouTube. This is Josh Boost Creations. On this episode, we're gonna be putting the 300Z or the 315ZX motor back in the body. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and save you some time. Um, we ended up running into a technical difficulty with the extra camera that I brought. I, and by technical difficulty, I mean I uh, may have forgot the battery. So basically, I just had to end up using just the GoPro. So I was kind of having to try to remember to move it so we could actually get some different angles. Um, but to just yeah, like I said, just to save you some time, I, I give a brief explanation at the very end of what we end up having to do to get this engine to uh, actually made up correctly to the transmission. If you want to go ahead and fast forward, that'd be at 10:53. Um, like I said, like once again, I apologize. Um, definitely a error of stupidity on my part. Um, but. If not, and you want to actually watch the full episode, then you'll get to laugh at us trying to push this engine in. Um, we did have a lot of clearance issues. Uh, it's kind of typical for a V6 in this, well, you know, just this engine in this car, really. It had little to no room. But, uh, like I said, if you, if you end up watching this, I hope you enjoy it, and hopefully this will save you some pain. I've done this. We, we haven't been able to put the engine on the engine mounts, so and we've had to put the transmission and everything together and then put it on the engine mounts. I'm going to go ahead and say right now, if it was a feat of strength getting under this car, um, I was basically rubbing chest, stomach, legs, everything to get under it. So. How much effort we put in this thing? <laughs> like, what are you seeing on the phone? <laughs> uh, not enough to be able to. <laughs> I, mean, I can move it back and forth or up and down like this and see if it just moves the spine enough. Yeah, I lost a little bit of movement on that one. And this is where we got the uh, bright idea to finally decide to drop the transmission, um, which actually ended up helping us out a whole lot. So if you plan on doing something like this, go ahead and start drop, dropping the transmission. Or better yet, just go ahead and have it undone and, you know, waiting underneath the car.
Come on. Too thick. Too flat. Precious. 300ZX. <laughs> you'll never find one ever again. Do what? So you'll never find one ever no, again. No, you can find one pretty easy. They just went like $25 for that. And it's like, eh. Those steering wheel emblems? Dude, they're like <coughs> 40 bucks. It's like it's a little tiny steering wheel emblem. And all it says is Z. Yeah, all it says is Z. Well, yeah. I, was say, I thought I had an X on it, but no. Stupid rubber. Alright. Well, that's. Yeah, that's transmission. Yeah, I mean, that's just. I'm just saying, that boot's destroyed. She gone. I don't have. Hold on, was it in gear the whole time? Yeah, you did have to move back, didn't you? Maybe it'll go in with the <laughs> beating gear. Have we ever thought about that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember leaving it in gear. Oh, I'm sipping and spin it. Do it. I can touch it, I don't know about spin it. Yeah, but it'll allow the spindle to move. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to, be able to see the rest of the footage that I planned on getting because, well, the GoPro died. And I originally had my actual camera, which is this one right here, brought with me. And I got all the way there, got it set, on, set up on a tripod, and realized that I did not bring the battery that was freshly charged. Um, but what you didn't see that we eventually got figured out is when we brought the engine in on the hoist originally on the side because from the front the nose cone was just, just too long so we were going to be hitting the, the radiator support so we ended up having to go from the side but what was causing what was causing an issue is the motor was coming in at a kind of a, a really hard downward angle and that was the only way we could get it in over the rack so what was causing the problem was Here's the transmission that technically was slouched down. We had to jack it up even higher than pretty much into the firewall. But what the issue was, we got it into the spline, but as far as alignment goes, it would pretty much leave a gap. So what we ended up having to do to figure fix it is we started a couple bolts in the top of the transmission like kind of left them a little loose that way when we took the transmission mount off it allowed it to drop down at the angle we needed 
So then when, when that happened, we were then allowed to push them up, tighten the bolts, and uh, we ended up getting that pretty much got it. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. Well, not next episode, but the next time we revisit the what, we're, what I'm going to call the 315ZX, because at this point it's a D-stroke 33, so I'm just going to say a 315. Um, we will be actually getting all the connectors on and hopefully getting this vehicle to start. And once we get that going, then you know he's going to have it tuned and all this other sort of stuff like that. But stay tuned for the next episode. Episodes. Make sure you hit subscribe and then like like it and let all your friends know about it. Um, we do have more to come. Um, hopefully, in a couple weeks, we'll be starting to get some parts come in for the uh, Subaru, so we can start at least getting some getting the block prepped for some machine work. Like we're, we're not doing a whole lot. We'll probably, you know, it's a stock 99.5 bore right now, um, and the cylinder is actually in good shape for the block I'm using. So, I mean, realistically, to try to get a little bit better seal, I'll probably bore it out to 99.75 for the pistons. Um, I do have to use a specific type of piston for my build. But as far as my build, hopefully about two, three more weeks, I'll be able to get a video out on that, at least about showing the parts. Um, but as far as the 315 goes, it'll either be next week or the week after when we actually start to turn the key to uh, attempt to start it. So until then, stay tuned and uh, see you on the next one.